here we go. First review. Boop. It's a nice fang harness. I bought it for Groot off of Amazon because the work he's learning to do requires him to have a bit more secure way of um, moving about. And with him being on just a regular collar and leash, it was very, very dangerous for his throat and neck. So I bought him a nice little harness to help protect him from himself. Um, so far, it seems to be, you know, decent quality for a $20 to $25 Amazon bought off, or $20 to $25 harness bought off of Amazon. There you go. I'll put a link in the description in case you guys want to check it out for yourselves. Um, all in all, not bad. The D-rings and the attachments where the D-rings go are all metal. The webbings, even from the back to this, around the shoulders, all come into this one central point. So it's a nice, nice sturdy attachment area for them. Um, all the slides are the same metal. Even on the uh, chest here, it's all three points coming from the torso to the shoulders. All come to this one central area and it's got all metal buckles and attachments on it. The stitching is fairly fairly well done. The webbing coming from the shoulders is double stitched and then the webbing itself was folding, folded over basically three layers in there where it all comes together. So that's pretty good. Where the straps for the belly come in around the torso and chest area, you, they all attach this steel, um, steel square. And they all seem fairly well stitched. They're back stitched well. It's a welded ring that the weld looks okay with it. I don't see any cracks or real deformations on it, so that's pretty good. It seems seem well done. The padding's okay. And it's uh, got a bit of weight to it considering, considering uh, what you would expect for something for 20, 25 bucks. I figured it'd be a lot lighter and uh, not so well padded, so. All in all, please don't know how it'll do as far as the test of time, but the initial assessment of it, I'd say it's a pretty decent metal rig so far. We'll see what happens in a couple months. And the other thing I got for him with his new job is a shorter leash. It allows it to not get tangled under his feet when he's running and working, and still gives me a way to get a hold of him, hold of him if needed. The things I like about it, it's got a nice heavy clip on it. And it's brass, so it should be fairly, fairly durable. The uh, way they braided it, it's a nice tight braid. And on both ends where it was braided, it's also stitched. So it shouldn't be able to come undone anytime soon. Oh, and uh, there you go. And this one was made by Angel. I've seen them, I've seen leashes from them before in some of the big box stores. So I know they're, they're pretty decent quality. The leather's fairly thick on the uh, handle area. I think it's just gonna have to take some time to wear in, and then it should soften up and be good to go. So as you can see, the harness doesn't impede uh, Groot's movements as he's running and jumping. Here's a quick video of him doing a quick jump over my leg. <laughs> He was comfortable enough to do a couple of minute down stay while I went and got my morning coffee. A few moments later. 